Now that we've looked at adding integers, we're going to look at the opposite, how to subtract integers. And we're going to relate this to adding integers. So if you haven't checked that out, check that video first so that you uh, will be successful with subtracting integers. So we're going to look at a few different examples. And we'll use the number line to help us. And we'll start with 4 minus 5. Now, the answer might be obvious just looking at it, but we're going to look at uh, the number line, what it means to subtract 4 minus 5. So we start with 4, and if we're subtracting 5, we know that we are getting smaller. We go to the left. So we go 5 to the left, and 4 and 1 more, we end up at negative 1. Now, when we are subtracting 5, what we're really doing is the opposite of adding 5. So something that we can do for all subtraction is a phrase called keep, change, change. And what that means is we're going to take a subtraction problem and we're going to keep the first one, it's going to be 4, then change the subtraction to addition and change the sign of that number after it. So keep, change, change. 4 plus negative 5, well we know from our last one, we'd subtract 5 minus 4 is 1, the bigger one is negative, we get the same answer, negative 1. So if we look at the second one, we have negative 4 minus 5. Again, we with subtraction we can use our strategy. Keep, change, and change, so 5 becomes negative 5. Now, if we're adding two negatives, we should know that we are adding those two numbers. 4 plus 5 is 9, and because it's negative, the answer is negative. And we can verify this on our number line. If we start at negative 4, subtracting 5 would bring us 5 deeper into the negatives. 5 more would bring us to negative 9. So we've looked at keep change change when we're subtracting a positive number, but how about for a negative? Negative 4 minus negative 5. Well, we can do the same thing. Negative 4 is our keep, then we'll change the subtraction and change negative 5 to positive 5. So now we have negative 4 plus 5. You'll notice this, minus a negative number just became plus. That's always true. Minus a negative becomes addition. So negative 4 plus 5, 5 minus 4 is 1. The positive is bigger, so our answer is positive 1. Let's look at 2 with some bigger numbers using those strategies. So 13 minus negative 20, we will keep change, change, keep 13, change the subtraction to addition, and change the negative to a positive. Well, here we have 13 plus 20, simply 33. We can add that out the long way, or just, if you know it, add it, and it's 33. The last one, 14 minus 20, will keep change, change, keep 14, change to addition, and change to negative 20. So positive and a negative, we will get... 20 minus 14 is 6, the negative is bigger, so we have negative 6. Now, pause the video and try these three practice problems on your own, and then when you've finished, restart the video to check your answers. Okay, hopefully none of these gave you too much problems, uh, but we'll check our answers here if we do the keep change change method for each of these. So negative 3 plus negative 15, we get add them for a further negative, we get negative 18. 
here, keep change change, we get keep change negative 12 becomes positive 12, let's get 32, and our last one as well, we keep, and then a plus positive 3, negative 10 plus 3, 10 minus, since it's a negative and a positive, we'll subtract, 10 minus 3 is 7, the negative is bigger, so it's negative 7. So hopefully you got those right. Uh, it, once you've watched this video, then go on to the practice assignment and then you will be ready for the test.